We might have a possible launch date for NVIDIA's RTX 4000 series, which is great since we were hearing rumors about it being possibly delayed to later this year or maybe even early next year. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. It seems like the launch of the RTX 4000 series might just be around the corner. Recently on Nvidia's GeForce Twitter account, they posted a short little teaser video with the hashtag Project Beyond. I remember Nvidia did something similar a couple years ago proceeding up to the launch of the RTX 3000 series, where what they were doing was that they had a countdown each day and they would visit some iconic game or tech as each day represented a year. Anyways, a day later after the Project Beyond teaser, Nvidia posted the following to their website. GeForce Beyond, a special broadcast at GTC 2022 with Jensen Huang. And the description basically tells you how the event is going to be about sharing new tech and development in all sorts of areas Nvidia currently operates in, whether that it be AI, science, computing, and more. I found it interesting though that this GeForce event coincides with GTC because traditionally GTC has always been about Nvidia talking about things related to the professional industry, as I had mentioned earlier, stuff like scientific research, self-driving vehicles, or for content creators. If you go to Nvidia's official YouTube channel, you'll see that their content pertains to those different branches, but there really isn't anything there pertaining to gaming. It's their NVIDIA GeForce channel that has all that stuff for PC gamers. Along with that, they specifically mentioned that PC enthusiasts don't miss the GeForce Beyond special broadcast, and at the bottom, they mentioned how you can tune into the stream over at Twitch or YouTube. Therefore, in my opinion, with all this hype surrounding GeForce, it's probably really likely that this is going to be the launch for the RTX 4000 series. Now, will all the SKUs in the whole lineup be unveiled that day? Probably not. It's most likely going to be a similar event from 2020 where they will unveil the RTX 4090, 4080, and 4070 with each card having its own release date. It seems like this past month, the rumor mill and leaks were fairly quiet when it came to the 4000 series, which was one of the reasons why so many people thought that the series had been delayed, but as September rolled around, things started to ramp up again. At the start of the month, we saw a Twitter user known as Kiryuko post a picture of what was allegedly the Founders Edition RTX 4080. There's not much to say here, it looks pretty similar to the RTX 3080 Founders Edition card, but appears to be slightly wider and taller to maybe compensate for the higher TDP that the 4080 will indeed have. Along with that, we can see that the font that they're using is considerably different than the usual GeForce font, so who knows, it could be a fake. Though the Founders Edition cooler that they're using for the 3000 series was adequate and did a decent job, so I don't foresee them changing that. Obviously, AIB cards with ridiculously large heat sinks and triple fans outperformed them, but the disadvantage was that they were awfully big and that made it troublesome for small form factor builders. Moving on, then there was also another leaked picture from Greymon55 who claimed that this triple fan cooler was an early prototype model of an 80102 based GPU, so that could be a 4090 or 4090 Ti. Although taking a look at the card, it's a very plain black triple fan open air cooler. There's no branding on it, so we can't even be sure as to which AIB this card belongs to. But hey, if the usual leakers on Twitter are suddenly posting pictures of cards that they claim to be from the next gen family, I guess that's something, right? Next up, we have a Twitter user by the name of iLeakVN who posted a screenshot from a post that came from a Vietnamese retailer's Facebook page. This post was in regards to orders for upcoming RTX 4090 SKUs from Gigabyte. The name of the SKUs does seem very believable as this is typically how this AIB brands various SKUs. And if it's a retailer who is saying that this is for a future order, then it could mean that the launch is around the corner, hence the teaser and video posted. Speaking of retailers though, we have a couple from Australia listing cards for pre-order with prices. These are also Gigabyte models, surprise surprise, and they actually have prices attached to them, but take it with a grain of salt, they could just be placeholder prices. The prices do look pretty insane to me, we're talking north of $2,500 US for an RTX 4090, which I don't think will happen, but who knows, with prices going up everywhere, nothing will shock me at this point. What doesn't seem to make much sense to me is that both places are listing the gaming OC model as more expensive than the Aorus Master version, which is Gigabyte's top end. Don't, shouldn't it be the other way around? Anyways, moving on to some more exciting stuff, we have some leaked benchmark results of the upcoming RTX 4090 and 4090 Ti from 3 d Mark Time Spy's Extreme Benchmark. The first benchmark was posted by HXL, and the results came from a popular Chinese hardware forum known as Chip Hell. Here we can see this GPU attaining a graphics score 
of 20,192. And we have another screenshot of the GPU apparently running at a whopping 3 gigahertz. While the score looks to be pretty impressive, the clock speed jump is also quite drastic and it's very intriguing to me. All the Ampere cards I've tinkered around with hover around that 2 gigahertz mark for the boost, so adding a full gigahertz would be quite a leap from the previous gen. Along with that, Harukaze also shared some results from another benchmark from Chipel. This time they're claiming it's a result from the 4090 Ti with a score of 24,357. To put that into perspective, we can take a look at this graph they make and we can see both of the results are roughly double the result attained by their predecessors. While that is quite exciting to see, remember this is just a synthetic benchmark and we don't really know how that will translate to real world performance until they're tested. With that said, I don't doubt that the RTX 4000 series GPUs will be an immense jump over the RTX 3000 series. We'll probably see an RTX 4070 deliver performance that'll be in the ballpark as the RTX 3090, and we'll probably see people lose their minds over it. But ultimately, it does come down to pricing and also power consumption. When it comes to the former, are we going to see Nvidia bump up prices across the board? Will we see an RTX 4090 yet? 1999, followed by an RTX 4080 at 899 or 999. What if the RTX 4070 is launched at 699? Sure, there will be some people who might justify it by going, well, the 3090 Ti had an MSRP for 1999, so now you can get that same level of performance for less than half the cost, but then they probably won't even realize how inflated the 3090 Ti's price was to begin with. I mean, now we're seeing the card at about 50% off at most retailers, and it's still sitting on store shelves. What I'm saying is that, Look past the marketing and think objectively about what we're going to be getting into. My question to you guys is, how do you guys think that the next-gen GPUs will coexist with current-gen GPUs? It wasn't until the start of the summer that prices came back down to earth for current-gen GPUs, and we started to see them fall slightly below MSRP. I talked about this in my last video, but right now there's an abundance of graphics cards on the market, and retailers can't seem to move them fast enough, even though they're back down to quote-unquote normal prices. If Nvidia announces the RTX 4070 for $499 or $599 and it performs like a 3090 or 3090 Ti, that alone would basically wipe out the entire RTX 30 series. Nobody in their right mind would be paying $700 for an RTX 3080 if you can wait a little bit for next-gen GPUs for cheaper and it will outperform it. There would need to be some serious price cuts for them to even make them look appealing, and Nvidia just posting a teaser right now probably doesn't even help that situation one bit. Which is why I think we're going to see Nvidia roll out the 4000 series gradually. The 4090 will come out first, and we know the price will be ridiculous, so most PC gamers aren't even going to be buying it. So if you're someone who wants a $300 or $400 GPU, then you still only have a couple options, and that's an RTX 3060 Ti or 6700 XT, as a 4060 Ti probably won't come out until next year. But we'll see, it's going to be really interesting to see how next-gen uh, GPUs will affect the sales of current-gen parts, and how retailers are going to be adapting to this situation. Power consumption was another big concern of mine, we know that these next-gen GPUs are going to be very power-hungry, and we just saw from those time spy leaks, that they're going to be pushing maybe 3 gigahertz, which if that is the case, then we know the power is going to be crazy. We also know AMD's next-gen CPUs are going to be more power hungry than last-gen. We know Intel's are going to be more power hungrier. There's just no way around it at this point, unless you're willing to take the time to undervolt or run at restricted uh, TDP settings, but I don't know how many people are willing to do that. But just a few years ago, all you really needed to do was get a 650 watt power supply or 750 watt power supply, and you were pretty much all set up for even the highest of the high-end setups. Granted, you are just using one GPU. But now it seems like if you want to run a high-end setup with next-gen parts, say an RTX 4080 with a 7900X, then you need a 850 watt power supply at the minimum. So forget about overclocking, undervolting and playing around with power limits is honestly what most PC enthusiasts will be doing with their hardware. All in all, it seems like September 20th seems to be the day we're going to be seeing what Nvidia has in store for PC gamers. I also heard that AMD's embargo lift for the Ryzen 7000 series is also going to be held that day, so there's going to be a lot of discussion happening in the PC hardware community, and I for one am very excited for it. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. 
And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.